Okay, so a lot of people don't know this, but I was actually a huge fan of yours growing up. I had a picture of you on my wall. Is that creepy still to you? Looking back. Okay, and this is what we deal with on a daily. <laughs> And that's a wrap today. <laughs> Good, Good interview. <laughs> no, but children. honestly though, okay, children. now we're serious because yes. we're the adults yep. here. They, they were children. We're so mature. Very, very, very mature. Um, no, but for someone like you, you have won every award you can win. You've won medals at the Olympics. You've played in World Cups. So for someone like me that's had the opportunity to play with you, how do you stay so humble both on and off the field? Like, you're the one athlete that I know that is not big on social media. You could care less about all the other things. It's, <laughs> you're not in your bathing suit on Instagram. Like, I don't know who does that, but. Who would do such I a thing? I have no idea. Okay. I've just, just had a baby, so there won't be any okay, not bikini, for not bit. for a while. Okay. But no, but honestly, how do you stay so humble and so true to yourself and so just Christine Sinclair? Um. I think I'll have to give credit to my parents with that one. Just, you know, keeping a level head. Um, yeah, they were just, we could go score a hat trick or whatever, and they'd be like, well, you missed this chance. <laughs> In a good way. Um, yeah, so Canadian. But for me, I mean, we haven't won the big one yet, so there's nothing to, like, brag about in a way you know um i want to win that olympic gold medal i want to win a world cup and then maybe i'll go on instagram and start posing pictures like that i'll take your picture no problem i'll show you your <laughs> angles i know your angles already <laughs> all right, all right. um no and and for me that's that's that is the best part about you is you lead by example on the field you lead by the example off the field and at age tw you're 24 20, now no i'm 29 let's be real 29 oh so we're the same age yeah. okay amazing i'm gonna be 29 for a while so. <laughs> No, but to be able to play at the level that you played at and successfully score goals season, both professionally with the Portland Thorns, congratulations on the playoffs. Um, I, I have you and NC Courage in the final. Okay. You winning. Can, really? Yeah. You scoring the game winner. All right. So please right. don't let me okay. down. I'll pay you uh, after. Yeah. Yeah. But no, but you you just epitomize like you're you're so Canadian and that's what everyone Good. loves about you and you don't change and you can come from Portland be super successful and then come to Canada be super successful and you lead by example um but obviously like you said you haven't won a world cup so what what's the difference between John and now having the head coach of Kenneth you know actually not too much you know obviously getting asked that a lot but in Kenneth was our assistant coach for what year and a half or so uh, before taking over as head coach the entire staff is the same so in terms of you know a head coaching change it's been as smooth as possible uh, I mean Kenneth is he's amazing and yeah to see him sort of take the reins with this team it's been exciting um, we're definitely changing the way we play a mm -hmm. little bit which is exciting and yeah I have no doubt that He's the right man for the job. You know, under John, we won a couple bronze medals, and hopefully Kennett can take us a little further than that. And obviously with the qualification tournament coming up, this is a massive game playing Brazil. Obviously you've played Tier 1 teams all year, which is huge. You're playing on Canadian home <laughs> soil, which is obviously an amazing feeling. But your thoughts going into this game, then what you can carry into the qualification tournament coming up? Yeah, we sort of set a, a goal of leaving this camp confident. That That's what we want to achieve. Obviously, with that comes beating Brazil uh, and beating them with a dominant performance. Uh, I thought we, against Germany a couple months ago, like we played pretty well, but we lost. And that's not going to take care of things in qualifying. You need to find a way to win those games. So we want to leave this camp feeling confident, you know, go back to our home environments, whatever that is, and then come into qualifiers fresh and hungry and ready to go. And then obviously qualifying for the World Cup when you guys do, Ooh. what is then the mindset looking forward to France in 2019 for World Cup? Simple. Going to win it. I love it. Well, thank you. We won't thank keep you, you long because I know <laughs> you're not, you try to stay away from the media and social I media. I love so. media. You love media. Did you, you heard it here first. Loves media. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.